Welcome to Kalyan Classroom. Today we are going to learn how to create these certificates. How we can do that? It is a very simple strategy. So see, on the screen we are looking at one small one sample certificate. This we can create using normal MS Word. This is the normal MS Word. And I shifted to um, PPT PowerPoint presentation. A single slide contains the background and the the borders, all things you can design according to your wish, very simpler way. But the only thing is you have to save this slide as JPG, dot JPG or PNG file. So dot JPG file or dot PNG format you have to save it. Right. I save that file. This file we have to bring it to slides, Google Slides. So here in the Google Slides, I brought that copy. So how to do the Google Slides? Simply Slides dot google dot com. If I type in that, it will be coming to this screen. Here we can create it is just like a PowerPoint presentation. Slides also we can design. So here we can take the blank slide or some other slides also available. So basically, for our purpose, we'll create a simple using the blank because we are going to bring the JPG file here. So simply we can say empty and we can bring the slide so how we can bring after opening this we can click on the insert upload from computer this is the file and simply say open it is coming to this place the one thing you have to notice here is the slide size the image should occupy the complete slide so that is the only thing because how much size you are displaying, how, how you are placing the positioning, the picture, the same thing will be displayed in the certificate also. So that is when we have to very consciously put the cell slide, the JPG file in the proper position. Right. So in this slide, we did not type any variable, we did not put any value. So for that, I am keeping one text box from this place. In this text box, what field I want to place generally? participant name the name is a variable and uh, participant from which college the college also one variable so these variables we can put with there for the tag so, certify m that certify m we will see what the certify m so the generally um, this thing is enough so variables should be keep here how we can put the variables like this double brackets within the full name and next value is college name I keep it comma and once again double flower brackets in the college name in the form of other identifier. So the full name or other other identifier. Here we see the date and the score is a percentage, the certificate ID. So these are all tags, yeah, tags given by the certifier. M. We'll see what is what are those the tags. So here after this, simply we can go to the forms can go to the forms there is a form okay i'll open the form no issues forms dot google dot so this is the forms here we can design our own form already i design one form so this is the form I'm selecting this one week of final assessment for certification. So this form designing you will be doing this. Otherwise, if you are requesting, if you are giving comments, I can show you one more time how we can design a form. So this is caption we can type and email we have to receive from the participant and file name. That's a full name and uh, the college name. So these are the three variables we have to get from the participant in a same order the first one should be email id next one should be the participant name next one should be their college or institution that value that uh, the value the next one are the questions and one more thing if you are putting the questions we can mark the right questions you see these are the right questions and those questions also we can give marks so that also we will see one more time how we can put the marks and all so right now you understand how the forms will be used with the certificate creation. Okay, right. 
So after that, we have to take the Certify M app is not available in our the Google form. So by the time what we can do, we have to go to the three vertical dots, go bottom, click on the add-ons. In these add-ons, you have to search for the tab. That the add name is the app name is Certify AM. You see Certify Apostrophe A. If you are clicking that, you can see this one. So this you can click that. It was download. You download it because already I downloaded that is why it is showing uninstall. So initially it will show it's you install it. After that, you close this, come to this place, you click this. So this I can what are the apps you installed that list will be displayed here. So here I have already app sheet one. This one is a certified. Now we are able to see certified M. Click that certified M. It is showing the pop-up menu. And click on that show certify M controls. So this controls configuration is very important here. See right now the certification is off. By clicking this, we can make it on. Now see the certify M is getting on to provide its service. Now it is on. The next one is you are designing a questionnaire. You are going to evaluate that. What is the pass percentage? 50 percentage or 100 or 20 or anybody participation certificate? You put zero. Now I'm putting 20 percentage, right? So that is updated. Now workshop sample certificate. You see the preview is there. No, you just click this. Here we can see the tax. We discuss about the variable tax. These are the tags, full name, the participant name will be get by full name and the title will be get by received by the title, other identifier. So these are the tags, okay, right. So here I am clicking this, this is a template I want to select. So these are the templates, you can see any template, just see, I am clicking the golden and I want to see the Review See this is the golden this is a golden certificate. This one is horizontal lines like that. Okay. Right. But already we have designed our own thing that can be selected by using the last option. Use a custom template. Use a custom template. So one pop-up menu. It is asking where it is. It is showing our designed certificates. Our name has given workshop certificate. I am selecting this and say select. Save changes. So that the template designed template has been linked with this Google form. Then finally everything is ready. Now we can send this Google form to the participant. Before that, I want to see how it will be so that we can ask the certified M send a email sample. You click this email me sample. It is preparing a sample certificate with uh, some sample data. It will be showing some Simpson sample, whatever it is. Some name will be given and the sample certificate will be forwarded to us. You see, it is from there. And this is a certificate. You see, participant will be getting exact this certificate with their names and call it. See, this is a date and the certificate code also given, the score percentage also given. Now coming back to this place, the form. This one here only we are working. Right. So here we are sending the forms to whom we have to send the email ID. What is the email ID? Right now I am giving my own email ID. It is forwarded. So here is the Mail. We have received that. See, you click this, and if I to give that location, also we can give. I mean Chennai. These are questions. I am typing something. 
and submitting. See, after submission, the title is showing and the message also I have given there. So this we are we can set these messages in the control, the certificate control. Thank you for your submission. If you passed, you will receive a printable certificate shortly. Kalyan Classroom, right? So we will go back to the email. We will check whether we see instantly certificate is delivered to the same email ID with a message. Dear participant, greetings to you. We are sending the printable workshop certificate. And this is certificate. You click this. You see, I have given the Kalyan ABC College Chennai. And uh, see the date. ID, certificate ID and a score 33 percentage right so this is how we can get the certi certificates using Google Forms we will see in the next class how we can design the Google Form and how we can design the certificate in Google Slides all these things one by one we can see thank you for watching this slide thank you for watching Kalyan Classroom